Welcome all of you to this video. In our previous video, we studied the formula of area of a sector of the circle. Today, in this video, we will see some interesting examples based on this concept. Madhu wants to distribute the cake on her birthday among her six friends if the diameter of the cake is 12 centimeters. Can you determine what will be the area of each piece of cake? Come, let's try to solve this question. Since according to the question, the cake has to be divided among six friends, so we can say that there will be total six parts of the cake, that is, six sectors will be formed, which we can demonstrate like this. Can you tell? What will be the angle subtended by these sectors at the center? Absolutely correct. Because we know that the sum of the total angles at the center of a circle is 360 degrees. And we are dividing the cake into six sectors. So the angle subtended by each sector at the center would be 60 degrees. Since we have to find the area of each piece of cake, that is, the area of each sector, so, for the area formula of the sector, we need the radius. Now, by assuming the value as R, we get the radius as 6 from the diameter of the cake. In the above formula, by putting the value of theta and R and solving it, area of the sector is found to be 18.85 square centimeters and we are dividing the cake into six sectors so we can say that the area of each piece of cake will be 18.85 square centimeters let's look at another example there is a disc whose radii are 14 centimeters and 7 centimeters and the angle subtended by both sectors at the center is 30 degrees so can you find the area of the shaded part of the circle come let's see first let's name the disk according to the given information let a1 and a2 be the areas of sector OAB and OPQ respectively. So, can you determine the value of A1? Absolutely correct. Put the value of theta and R in the area formula of the sector. On solving, the value of A1 is 51.33 square centimeters. Similarly, the value of A2 is 12.83 obtained as 12.83 square centimeters. Since we have to find the area of the shaded region, so we subtract the area of A2 from the area of A1 thereby giving the area of the shaded area 38.5 square centimeters. So we can say that the area of shaded part APQB is 38.5 square centimeters. In this video, today we saw some interesting examples based on the sector of the circle. In the next video, we will see what common mistakes occur while solving these types of questions.